did one, one eighty four eighty eight. Um, that I, I had a DoorDash before I met my grandkids and my other daughter for ice cream at Cup and Cone, the best place in the world. The line was, I don't know, a block long, and it was like 28 degrees out. But it was their first day, so we had to be there. Um, anyway, be, prior to that, meeting them, I had an Acapulco order for $10.75. And after I dropped it off, it went up to $22. So if you guys want to dash, I recommend dashing for at night after 5 p.m. Because supper time, obviously, they're ordering for their family. So you'll get a bigger tip. Most likely. More than lunch or breakfast. Breakfast is good if you get like a catering, like an office catering where you go to Starbucks, lots of coffees, donuts, breakfast for the office. That's usually pretty good, $20. Lunch is just a single person ordering lunch. You'll probably get an average of 3 to $5 tip. So it'll be, probably be 6 to $7 orders. Have you guys found that for lunch? So I tend not to even turn on my DoorDash during lunchtime. I'd rather do Instacart or Spark. So what's more profitable, someone asked me, Instacart or Spark? Or any of the other apps? Um, it used to be Spark, hands down. Now the or there's so many people delivering humans that it's hard even to get an order. Um, Instacart is by far the most profitable um, app. Especially if you do Sam's Club or Costco. Those tips are usually $20 plus. So if you have a Sam's Club or Costco by your house, get to really get to know that store and you'll breeze through it once you figure out where everything is. That would be your low mile mileage most profitable in my opinion. Okay, we're here. It's too heavy to carry in. See, there's a lot in here. So let's make two trips. So make sure when the door swings out, you put the groceries so they can open their door. I see people um, block the door. Someone did that to me. I have a gate and they put it in front of the gate so I couldn't open the gate and the gate swings out. So I had to go through the garage to get in to get my groceries.
ketchup. It was a $50 winner. It was the 7 11 21 That's what it was. If you live in Wisconsin, you can grab that one. It's a good one. I do like the crossword scratch-offs, the $2 ones, because at least it gives you something to do and it's fun to scratch the letters, I think. So we're getting some orders on Spark. I'm surprised. What's going on? I'll see you guys at the store. Okay, we're at Walmart. We're gonna start shopping. These are bifocals. Uh, okay, I have to try to get used to them. Remember, I'm an old lady. Okay, we did it in four and a half minutes. Do you guys like shopping better at Target or Walmart? up randomly so they check your cart they scan three items to make sure you're getting what is in your app um, and they pick them randomly I don't know if that's a very good way to see if people are stealing I don't think so but I always get picked. I don't know why. So today, so far, I haven't had an Easter ham. Maybe that's next week. Do they have Easter hams yet? If there's any uh, other drivers out there, I like to watch other drivers to get ideas. Keeps me motivated. Put your channel down in the comments and I'll shout you out so maybe other people will subscribe too. I think I'm going to do a live from home when I get 500 subscribers. A Q&A, ask me anything. To a certain degree. And why I love my job so much, because I really do. I'm an independent contractor, hence the word
word independence. I can't be a W-2 worker where I have to punch in. Like today, I was able to do some laundry, slept in. I was having really fun dreams and slept in, made poached eggs on toast. Um, my daughter made avocado toast. Avocado toast is just a piece of toast with a smashed avocado on it. And then I like to dip that in the egg, my poached egg. I also like sprouts on it. But yeah, we'll do a live when I get to 500 subs. I need to link my other channel um, down below. It's, it's, it's Kath Clean. Someone said it's K-A-T-H space C-L-E-A-N. That's my other channel. You'll see me at home. You'll see me do hauls. You'll see me with my kids, my grandkids, kids. It's kind of a home economic show, per se, old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get this delivered. So far today, we've gotten one after the next.
hope the dog is going to eat their food. Okay, we got a good one for $40.16, a shopping express order for 2.6 miles. It said bulky item, but I didn't see a bulky item. And if there is, I'll deal with it because $40 for two miles is a great order. I don't know what's going on. This is the first day in probably months since I've gotten one shopping order after the next at this store. I think they changed the terms of service. I don't know if that helped get the people without valid ID. In one mile, at the roundabout, okay. take the second exit onto Highway 35 North. Okay, we know. We know. As I was saying, I haven't gotten shopping orders like this in six months. I did sign a, a new terms of service agreement. I don't know if that has anything to do with it um, or I'm just getting lucky. But it's like the old days, like last year, right now. And I wasn't even by the store and I got a $40 shopping order. I was literally seven and a half miles away. I'm curious to see what the bulky item is. I'll let you guys know. Are you guys getting more orders now? Or is it just, I'm having luck on this day. Okay, we just need one more. It's a plastic tote. Here. Okay, we got another one right after we dropped that one off for sixteen thirty-three for a pickup. Six and a half miles. Thirty-three pickup. Um, so the bulky item on that last order. Six point, what did I say? Six miles. The bulky item was a plastic juice container. It 
was about, I don't know, nine inches high by six inches. But I don't think when it's in that area, like the J28, it was J28, the area where all the like big totes are and everything. I Stay in the middle lane. Oh my God. And hopefully in the next election, we won't have that senile president looking at an ice cream cone and smelling little girls' hair as president. Yeah? Yeah. So we have 28 kitties, 28 stamps of kitties. We need 50 or 110. We might be able to get the 110. Uh -oh. Wagon. Okay, we got another spark. It's a pickup, 10.4 miles for 15.86 for two items. I think it's like a dot com order. This order started at seven dollars, but it went up to 15.86. And maybe I'll go say hi to mom. Right. I've been waiting here 25 minutes, and in order for it not to affect your metrics. You have to wait 30 minutes, so I have five more minutes. I don't know what they're doing, but. Uh, so they, they finally came out. I was waiting probably about a half hour. Um, he said that one of the items were misplaced, so they had to go back out on the floor and repick the item. And the, it's, the item's right there. So if things happen, it's fine. So now, uh, I have noticed there was an incentive if you do four trips today between three and 10 o'clock, you get an extra $18. So this will be number three. So I have to do one more after this. 
and it's 536 so I wasted a lot of time just sitting there for $15.86 a lot of time but I got a Chinese restaurant for ten fifty, and then a Taco Bell add-on for six more, for six miles total. So that's sixteen, seventeen dollars, I think, or sixteen fifty, whatever, whatever. They just gave me the option to unassign the order, but I think I'll wait because, I don't know, I've been waiting a lot today. Everyone else got their order, but I don't know what's going on. So I was waiting there about 15 minutes, and he just kept ignoring me. He kept bringing out orders, and then DoorDash, like I waited five minutes even after DoorDash said you can un unassign the order. And I thought, well, this poor, Poor people that ordered Taco Bell are waiting for the other order, so I unassigned it because that's not fair to them. I don't know what's wrong with people today, but they're losing it. But today's just a really strange day. And that guy doesn't know how to park. Okay, let's go get this order. This order is $5.86. 
five minutes late too. Look at Cameron. What's going on here? Am I gonna have to wait? Oh my god. Okay, it's been like seven minutes. I can't even believe this. That's a lie. This has been 15 minutes. orders in the back so and they weren't coming out front so everyone got their order before me because they were like telling the people then they they forget oh my god so this one guy had a to-go order they put it on a tray okay then they forgot all of his drinks <laughs> then the next guy forgot their his drinks too for his DoorDash. And then they forgot my drinks. And then you saw it. She said, oh yeah, do you need a straw? You know? I mean, come on. We can do better than that. 20 minutes. And then I didn't even, I wouldn't even have taken this for $6 for five miles if I, that other plate. Anyway, I'll stop my bitching. But that's really... Wasted an hour. Wasted an hour of my day. An hour. And Uber Eats keeps giving me this $2.31 order. No. You're going to have to fast. Ooh, gotta get that. Pop out. getting any spark orders I think they stopped sending out orders <clears throat> so we're at 15709 we were working for seven hours so that equals 2244 an hour which I wasted one hour at the Chinese place in Taco Bell oh did I tell you guys it was a six dollar Taco Bell it went up to nine dollars I want to thank you guys for watching each and every one of you you guys are hot i have the best subscribers in the universe 
You guys are the best. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. It wouldn't be the same without you guys. Um, I actually enjoy sharing and recording my videos. Maybe it'll help just one person make some money. One person or a zillion persons make a lot of money. Thanks for watching.